In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve equations by factoring using something called the zero product rule. What the zero product rule basically says is if we have two things multiplied, a times b, and the answer is zero, then we know something about one of those two things. Either the first factor is equal to zero, or b, the second factor, is equal to zero. So in order to solve something that's factored and equal to zero, we can set each factor itself equal to zero. Because either the first factor equals zero or the second factor equals zero. So if we have 5x minus 1 times 2x plus 5 equals zero, we know that either the 5x minus 1 is zero, zero times the other stuff, or the 2x minus 5 is zero. The other stuff times zero will equal zero. So we have 5x minus 1 equals zero, or the 2x plus 5 equals zero. This gives us two easy equations to solve. The first one, we add 1 to both sides, gives us 5x equals 1. Divide both sides by 5, and x equals 1 fifth. Or, from the other one, solving it, we subtract 5 from both sides, and 2x equals negative 5. Divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to negative 5 halves. So we see in this case, either x equals 1 fifth, or x equals negative 5 halves. Let's try another example. In this second example, we have 2x times x minus 6, times 2x plus 3. We've got three factors here. The 2x is a factor, x minus 6 is a factor, and 2x plus 3 is a factor. Factors are things multiplied together. So we'll set up three equations, setting each factor equal to 0. The 2x equals 0, or x minus 6 equals 0, or 2x plus 3 equals 0, as I run out of space. Solving each of these equations will tell us what the solution is for x. In the first equation, we divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 0. The second equation, we add 6 to both sides, and x is equal to 6. The third equation, we subtract 3 from both sides to get 2x equals negative 3. Divide by 2 to get x equals negative 3 halves. So in this problem, there are three values that make this a true equation. Either x equals 0, x equals 6, or x equals negative 3 halves. Any one of those will work to make this equation equal 0. The zero product rule simply says if, if a set of things multiply to 0, then one of those things, one of those factors must be 0.